students we are going to learn science today this is for class 4th and our topic is exercises of chapter 1 that is food our basic need okay this is for class 4th students i have already explained you the chapter food our basic need we have already started in our last class today we are going to do the exercises of the chapter that you have in your book Okay, we will do the question and answers of this chapter and the exercises of this chapter that you have in your book, okay? So students, before moving to the exercises, I will do a revision on this chapter, okay? I will revise once this chapter and you please take out your notebooks and please start, you please write down the exercises in your notebook, okay? So let's move towards the context and let's revise once so students what did we studied in this chapter we studied about the food groups yes or no there are different types of food groups then we studied about the dietary fiber and about water and what is a balanced diet how can you preserve food that is preservation of food and rest exercise and posture okay why do we need rest why should we keep our body in a good posture and why should we exercise yes or no these were the topics that we studied in our previous class okay we will revise once and after that we will move toward the exercises okay so students the food that we eat have got many different substances in it yes or no the food that we eat has got many different substances and these food substances are divided into different types of nutrients that food provide us okay the food that we eat provide us different types of nutrients okay now what are nutrients i have already explained you in the last class what are nutrients nutrients are the substances that are needed by our body for energy, good health and proper growth. What are nutrients? Nutrients are the substances that are needed by our body for energy, good health and proper growth. Those are called as what? Nutrients. Okay. And from where do we get nutrients? From the food that we eat. Okay. We get nutrition from the food. Yes or no? The food that we eat, the food gives us nutrition to do different types of work. To keep our body fit and healthy. Okay. Now these food are divided into different kind of groups. There are different, different types of food groups. Okay. So what are the food groups? Those are carbohydrates, then proteins fats, vitamins and minerals. Yes or no? These are the different food groups. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. And students, what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are nutrients that gives us lot of energy to work. Okay, what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are nutrients of the food that gives us lot of energy to do work and carbohydrates are also called as energy giving food okay carbohydrates are also called as energy giving food okay and what are the food items which contains carbohydrates food items such as rice wheat corn potato etc these are some food items that are very rich in carbohydrates. Okay, we must take carbohydrates so that our body gets energy to do work. That is why carbohydrates are also called as energy giving food. Understood? Then comes proteins. Yes or no? Protein are another group of food. The food that we eat, it also contains proteins. Okay, now what are proteins? Proteins are nutrients. 
nutrients that helps to build our body. Protein helps in building up our body. Okay. It helps in the growth of the body. Okay. Protein help in the growth and repair of our body and all, it also helps in building muscles in our body. Okay. And proteins are also called as bodybuilding food. Proteins are also known as bodybuilding food. The food items, those that are rich in protein are milk, coconut, then cheese, fish, meat, beans, pulses, etc. These food are rich in proteins. If you take these food, you will get a good quantity of protein in your body which will help you, help your body to grow. Okay, and to build up the muscles. Understood? Then our next food group is fats. Remember about fats? What did I taught you? Fats are nutrients that provide more energy than carbohydrates. Carbohydrates also provide us energy but fats also provide energy to work. Okay? Fat is Fat is necessary for our body but in a limited quantity. There should not be excess amount of fat in our body else it will lead us to illness. Okay. We need only limited amount of fat in our body so that fat can store extra food in our body. Okay. Extra energy. Fat stores extra energy in our food. Even if we don't eat for 2-3 days, the extra stored fat in our body gives our body energy to do work. Okay, that is why fat is also an energy giving food only. Okay, and fat also helps to keep our body warm. Okay, because of the fats, our body, our body remain warm. Okay, it keeps our body Warm. Okay. Then the food that are rich in fats are like oil, ghee, butter. All the oily food substances are very rich in fats. Okay. That is why it is always told that it is always said as we should take fats but in limited quantity. We, we must not take fat in large amount. Okay. The necessity of fat in our body is very in, it is in limited quantity. Okay, not in excess amount. Understood? So students, our next food group is vitamins and minerals. Okay, these vitamins and minerals are the nutrients of the food that protect our body from different kind of diseases and keeps our body fit and healthy. Okay, we need to eat food that are rich in vitamins and minerals so that our body remains fit and strong. And these vitamins and minerals act as protective food. They are also called as protective food because these Food, this nutrient protects our body from getting ill. It protects our body from different types of diseases. Okay. Lack of vitamins and minerals in our body. That means deficiency. If we have deficiency of vitamins and minerals in our body, our body may suffer from different kind of diseases. That is why we should eat food that are rich in vitamins and minerals. Okay, and they are also called as energy, sorry, they are also called as protective foods. Okay, then there are different types of vitamins that, that are required by our body. Okay, those are vitamin A, vitamin B complex, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K. Vitamin A, protein, vitamin A improves our eyesight and it keeps our skin healthy. Then vitamin B is needed for various functions of the body. Vitamin B complex is needed to function different kind 
kind of functions in our body the functions that goes on in our body vitamin b complex is needed to perform different various types of functions in our body okay then vitamin c helps to fight infection vitamin c what does it do it helps to fight infection if we have some kind of infection then if we take food that is rich in vitamin c it will help us to find that infection okay and keeps our gums and teeth healthy vitamin c keeps our gums and teeth healthy okay and vitamin d helps in the absorption of the nutrients the food that we eat the nutrients that we take vitamin d helps our body to absorb to take those nutrients in our body to work okay that is why vitamin d is important in our body understood and there are two types of vitamins those are fat soluble and water soluble some vitamins are fat soluble okay that means it does not get mixed up with the body it can be excreted from the body and the other one is water soluble okay water soluble means that that can be mixed up with our body okay fat soluble vitamins are vitamin a d e and k and water soluble vitamins are vitamin b and vitamin c fat soluble vitamins are vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k and water soluble vitamins are vitamin b and vitamin c understood now students what are minerals minerals are substances that are found naturally on the earth okay minerals are some kind of substances that are found naturally on the earth the plants that that are grown in the soil they absorb the minerals from the earth directly it is not formed or not made it is naturally found on the earth okay and there are some minerals that are needed by our body there are some minerals that are needed by our body for example like calcium potassium iodine sodium these are some kinds of minerals that our body need to stay healthy okay this calcium help in the formation of teeth okay calcium helps in the formation of teeth in our body and iron helps in the formation of blood the minerals calcium and iron this calcium help in the formation of blood and iron helps in the formation sorry calcium helps in the formation of teeth and iron helps in the formation of blood the blood that we the blood that flows in our body the main nutrient that is needed by our body to form blood it is iron that is why we must take food rich in iron okay calcium rich food are like broccoli then avocado milk these are some kind of you know, like then nuts almonds these are some food food items that are rich in calcium and food items that are rich in iron are like broccoli then the chicken liver then pomegranate these are some kind of food items that are rich in iron and you should take this food item food substances so that our body get adequate amount of calcium and iron okay and legumes is also a kind of minerals legume is a type of food that has seeds with pods okay it is a food which have seeds understood now students what are dietary fiber dietary fiber are the part of plant that cannot be digested okay dietary fiber the food the plant food that we eat that cannot be digested are called as dietary fiber it needs to be excreted from our body and it and it gets ex excreted from our body in the form of stool okay those are called as dietary fiber these are also necessary for our body dietary fiber are also necessary for our body okay the part of the food plant that cannot be excreted those are called as
dietary fiber okay this dietary fiber helps to remove waste material from our body it helps to remove the waste the food that is not needed by our body it helps to remove the waste material from our body in the form of stool okay then water is very important for our diet yes or no among all the nutrients that we eat that we get from the food water is very necessary why because water helps our body to process all the function without water the body the, the body cannot function well okay that is why we need to drink lots of water understood then food items such as cereals corn green leafy vegetables and fruits contain fiber these are some food items that contains fiber such as cereals cereals means the pulses that you eat okay then corn green leafy vegetables fruits all these contain good amount of fiber okay so students what is a balanced diet a diet that has all the nutrients in right amount a diet that has all the nutrients like carbohydrates proteins fat mineral vitamins all these nutrients in a good amount in a right amount and along with dietary fiber and water that is known as a balanced diet a balanced diet should have all the nutrients in a right amount like carbohydrates proteins fats minerals vitamins dietary fiber along with water okay then it is known as a balanced diet okay you can see the chart and you can understand understood now students what do you mean by preservation of food preservation of food means to keep the food in a proper way so that the food does not get spoiled okay to keep the food in a proper way so that the food does not get spoiled that is how we can preserve our food for example if we keep our food for a long period of time or if we keep our food open uncovered for a long period of time our food may get spoiled yes or no it may get wasted so that is why preservation of food is very important and there are different kinds of sorry different method of preservation of food you can see the preservation the methods are you can see the methods in the slide like canning smoking freezing pickling sugaring drying bottling etc okay these are some kinds of these are some methods by which you can preserve food if you preserve food we can prevent it from getting spoiled okay and we can use those food later also without wasting the food that is why we need to preserve our food okay now students why do we need rest exercise and why should we maintain good posture of our body we along along with eating we must also give our body rest so that our body works well performs well if rest keeps our mind healthy our body healthy okay that is why we must always take a proper rest okay it is very necessary to take 6 to 8 hours of sleep a day understood we should not skip our sleep a proper rest of the body gives our body energy to work properly okay and it also helps in proper functioning of the organs of our body that is why we need rest we need a proper rest okay and we should always maintain a good posture of our body like while sitting while standing while walking we should always maintain a good posture means good posture means it 
the good position of the body okay we must always maintain a good position of the body so that the joints of our body does not get hurt okay if we do not sit if we do not maintain a good posture of the body later on it will lead in the it will lead in pain in joints and muscles it will lead to pain in joints and muscles later okay so that is why we must always maintain a good posture of the body and we must also exercise every day to keep our body fit and healthy the more physical exercise you do the more food you can take and after that if you'll do a if you will work if you will exercise every day you can eat well you can sleep well you will get a good rest okay that is why rest posture and exercise is very necessary for our body i hope you understood now let's move towards the exercises let's start with the exercise okay so students our first question is objective type questions okay choose the correct option question number 1 is choose the correct option so number 1 how do nutrients help us how do nutrients help us the options are repair our body gives us energy to do work prevent us from falling ill too often all of these what is the question how do nutrients help us and the options are repair our body gives us energy to do work prevent us from falling ill too often all of these what is the answer the answer will be all of these because nutrients gives us energy also it repairs our body also and it also prevent us from falling ill so the answer is d that is all of these okay then our next question is number 2 food items rich in which of the following nutrients are called energy giving food i repeat food items rich in which of the following nutrients are called energy giving food options are carbohydrates proteins minerals and vitamins which food are called as energy giving food think it is carbohydrates carbohydrates are called as energy giving food so the answer is a carbohydrates okay then question number 3 which one of these is needed for growth and repair of our body and also for building muscle i repeat the question which one of these is needed for growth and repair of our body and also for building muscles the options are vitamins proteins fats carbohydrates what is the answer which food is needed for growth and repair of our body and for building muscles it is proteins the answer is b proteins okay then which one of the following nutrients help to keep the body disease free number 4 which one of the following nutrients help to keep the body disease free which nutrient keeps our body free from disease the options are vitamins fats carbohydrates proteins the answer is a vitamins okay then question number 5 which one of these help in the formation of bones and teeth which one of these helps in the formation of bones and teeth which nutrient which mineral help in the formation of bones and teeth see the option calcium fats iron and iodine 
What will be the answer? The answer is A. Calcium. Calcium helps in the formation of bones and teeth. Okay? Now students, our next question is fill in the blanks. Okay? Number one, the food that we eat has dash many, only one, substance, substances. I have written S in the bracket. Yes? It can be written as substance or substances. Okay? That our body needs to grow and stay healthy and strong. I will repeat my question. The food that we eat has many, only one, substance or substances that our body needs to grow and stay healthy and strong. So what will be the answer? The food that we eat has many. Okay, it has many substances that our body needs to grow and stay healthy and strong. Okay, then number two, food items rich in dash, carbohydrate, proteins are energy giving food. Food items rich in dash, carbohydrate, proteins are called energy giving food. Which food are called as energy giving food? It is carbohydrate. Okay, C-A-R-B-O-H-Y-D-R-A-T-E, carbohydrate. Then number three, dash, fats, proteins are needed for growth and repair of our body and also for building muscles. I repeat, number three, dash, fats, proteins are needed for growth and repair of our body and also for building muscles. What is needed for our body for growth and repair and for building muscles? It is proteins. P-R-O-T-E-I-N-S. Proteins. Proteins are needed for growth and repair of our body and also for building muscles. Number four, dash helps to keep our body warm. Dash, vitamins, fats, helps to keep our body warm. What helps to keep our body warm? It is fats, F-A-T-S. Fats helps to keep our body warm. Okay? Then number five. Dash, iron, calcium, helps in the formation of blood. Dash, iron, calcium, helps in the formation of blood. It is iron. I-R-O-N. Iron helps in the formation of blood. Now our next question is very short answer questions. It is very short answer questions. Question number one. Write two examples for each of the following. You have to write two examples for each of the following. Okay. Number one, carbohydrate rich food items. The food items that are rich in carbohydrate. It is potato and rice. P-O-T-A-T-O, -T -T potato, R-I-C-E, rice. Number two, protein rich food items. Protein rich food items. That is milk and pulses. M-I-L-K, milk. P-U-L-S-E-S, -E pulses. Number three, calcium rich food items. The food that are rich in calcium. It is curd and almonds. C-U-R-D, curd, A-L-M-O-N-D-S, almonds. Curd and almonds. Number four, iron rich food items. Iron rich food items. Those are Dry fruits and legumes. D R Y dry F R U I T S dry fruits legumes L E G U M E S legumes. Okay. Then number five food items that gives us dietary fiber. 
food items that gives us dietary fibers it is cereals c e r e a l s cereals and corn c o r n corn these are the answers of this question okay the answers are written below you can see and write down okay and you please note down all the exercises in your notebook mention the name of the chapter okay then you write down all these question answers sorry the exercises okay our next question is write one word for the following write one word for the following number 1 substances needed by our body for energy good health and proper growth substances needed by our body for energy good health and proper growth the answer is nutrients n u t r i e n t s nutrients i repeat substances needed by our body for energy good health and proper growth the answer is nutrients n u t r i e n t s nutrients okay number 2 food items needed by our body to build muscles and grow food items need, needed by our body to build muscles and grow it is proteins p r o t e i n s proteins okay then number 3 iron and iodine are example of this nutrients iron and iodine are example of this nutrients that is minerals m i n e r a l s minerals number 4 the part of the plant that cannot be digested the part of the plant that cannot be digested the answer is dietary fiber d i e t a r y dietary f i b r e dietary fiber okay number 5 a method of food preservation in which the water content of food is removed the method of food preservation in which the water content of the food is removed the answer is drying d r y i n g drying drying is the method of food preservation in which water content of the food is removed okay so this is all exercises in the next class we will do the question answers of this chapter okay in the next class we will continue with the question answers till then you please note down these exercises in your copy